and welcome to episode 93 of the Army Think Tank podcast. I am Jen. Jess. <laughs> and how are we doing this week? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, busy as usual. I feel like I'm just always busy with work and stuff, but obviously we got um, <clears throat> Friday off, so I was able to just like mm-hmm. chill and play games. Yeah, Remembrance Day. Yeah, it's Remembrance Day in Canada and then Veterans Day. Veterans Day. Day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it hasn't been, like, too terrible. It's pretty, like, slow going, and it's just, we carry on, pretty much. That's, yeah. That's pretty much it. It's pretty boring. For for those who hasn't seen our Instagram stories, I got my cape on fall back. If you are long-term fans of the podcast, you'll know that when I was still at my parents, my background was this massive wall of like uh prints mm-hmm. like bts prints from like various army artists yes and now it's back i mean it's obviously not behind me because there's like a window but yeah. it's like in front of my pc and i get to like look at it every day and it feels nice it's i know it's nice to have my my cable folder i love my yeah so. and i also hung up my diploma <laughs> yay it's not in the closet anymore that's exciting <laughs> um and also on green card news my case finally got accepted so we're moving forward with that yay um <laughs> so things are happening yes finally. good things good things are happening good things are uh, happening and i put up my christmas tree yesterday i have not put up my christmas tree yet i will this week yeah, because uh, Jacob thought that Thanksgiving was next week, but it's in two weeks. It's in two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> but I do not mind because it's been, like, really cold mm, outside. Yes. Well, really cold. Yeah. It's, like, negative. It, it, like, the lowest it's been, it, it went is, like, negative nine. Oh. But, like, we it's... haven't really, like, put, like, turned on our heater yet. That's shorts and t-shirt weather. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just like, I mean, it's hotter back home than here. Today, like my, yeah, my, today my, it's my, hotter. My dad hotter. was, yesterday, my dad was mowing the lawn in a t-shirt, and I was, like, in a hoodie with leggings on <laughs> and, like, fuzzy socks in a blanket. Oh, my God. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, so good things are happening, and uh, we'll just... I mean, just now we're talking about it right before starting. We're going close to our two-year anniversary of the podcast. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of wild. <laughs> Very much so. It's kind of wild. <laughs> it's really... Uh, like, and as far as I'm crazy. concerned, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. So we're having ah. fun. We're still having fun with it. So. Oh, yeah. Of course. I mean, it's our, is... it's, it's our weekly Jen and Jess uh, shenanigans. Exactly. You know? It's like our, it's our catch-up <laughs> session that we get to like... <laughs> talk it out and you know hash it out say the dumbest bullshit and it's great (laughs) yeah that's yeah I need an outlet for my BTS stuff you know like like I talk about it all the time it's like like the group chat is one thing but like actually getting on zoom once a week and just like talk out about like BTS TXT or just like our lives in general it's just so nice it's so nice it's so nice it's so nice (laughs) So without uh, waiting any longer, we got a little bit of things going we got, on, to see. We got some stuff, let me tell you. Uh, I mean, might as well uh, start and kind of like conclude the Jin astronaut arc. Yes. Because I feel like we're getting towards that end of promotion. <clears throat> yes, I think we are as well. So uh, the, the MV shoot sketch... It was so cute and so funny. It's so very Jin. He's so hilarious. Um, also, the fact that like Hobie surprised him. Stop it. It was like, I feel like it came from like him being at Lola Palooza and being yeah. like, kind of like 
afraid of being alone and then Jin was here like was there for him yeah. and like takes TL also in a way but it's not the same you know yeah, yeah but yeah. like him being like he's alone in the states recording his MV so I'm yeah. gonna go and visit him I am it's also like so, so glad. fucking sweet it's so f- sweet and I'm so glad that like nobody spoiled Hobie coming to see him like we had no idea that Hobie actually came to surprise him like there wasn't any airport photos there wasn't any like it was all in secret and Mm -hmm. I absolutely love that he got to surprise Jin um because he even like asked the staff he's like he doesn't know I'm here right and they were like no that he has no idea I was so surprised like Jin was like laying genuinely the yeah like, like he was so surprised and so happy to see that Hobie like and see like him. of course it's gonna be Hobie like of yeah. all the members it's gonna mm-hmm. be Hobie Hobie I feel like for a lot of the members is the comfort person besides oh, yeah. Jimin I feel like is a secondary to that <laughs> um <laughs> it, they're both like very much like comfort people but yeah, like in the way very like, in very different ways yes I feel like both of them though um to like you know like you have like different types of people who like show love and affection so I feel like for them it's the act of service love so like going to meet them in a destination showing up up. so I feel like in that regard they're very similar to how they show their love to their members all so freaking supportive of one another yeah and I feel like if all of them could have gone they probably would have oh for sure um also considering that like Jin hasn't had like as much like solo stuff outside of BTS yes so it was kind of like a huge Huge. step yeah a huge departure from his like normalcy of being with his like members. his solo stuff out of, outside of bts are mostly like oh here's a song haha yeah <laughs> yeah there wasn't like that promotion actual comparison. like promo yeah yeah because yeah. um, like the the rock time are more like used to it because they yes. had like Their one EPs. or multiple like yeah. mixtapes in the past yeah yeah and so i it, it i mean used to it is like I don't like using this word in this context, but yes. they have experience. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Where, like, most of the vocal line doesn't. doesn't. Yeah, they're not used so, to being, Because, like, like, like being on OSTs is, like, really different than, like, releasing an actual, like, promoted single or album. Yes, yeah. So. And especially because they were shooting, like, I feel like it would be different if he was actually shooting this music video in Korea. Yeah. I feel like that would have been a different um, It would also have been, like, a, a lot, like, easier for, like, the members to go and visit him. Yes. Like, yeah. no matter how far in Korea, like, they would have, like, Yeah, it, because you're easier, the same like, location. The travel distance is not the same. No, exactly. Comparatively to, like, um you know the states or argentina like, like those taking, are like a 20 hour flight or something <laughs> yeah. to go you know yeah yeah exactly <laughs> exactly um so we got uh the behind the scenes which was like again like we said just amazing yeah. um we talk about the behind the scenes a lot um of just like showcasing their thoughts and feelings about the music video and you know it's also like a confirmation of like how he wanted the music video to be perceived and how we as like army perceived it which i think was pretty spot on yeah um you know it's like a gift to be like i'm leaving but i'm coming back and you don't need to worry like it'll be a specific time away but i will always come back to you sort of vibe and i feel like we definitely yeah. like nailed I that i mean we have this saying in french which is Ce n'est pas un adieu, mais ce n'est qu'un au revoir, which basically is like, we're not like going away forever. We're just saying goodbye for now. Mm. And so like this really like gave that vibe. Yeah. And that feeling. That's why like, obviously like I had an emotional reaction to the music video. Oh yeah. Like he's my bias. I'm gonna have like a specific reaction to it. But I think overall I'm not as sad as I could be mm-hmm. um with the hope that the future will hold more for them um and the fact that they have consistently been like we're not going anywhere mm-hmm. how <laughs> so many times have like members say like oh we're gonna like perform and make music like until forever. we're old yeah and I'm like, okay. Trey literally said he wants to see their kids, so. I mean, 
same? Question mark? <laughs> anyway, uh, the last little bit of Jin news uh, is he is releasing a four-part series, um, which he released already two episodes of this series. So yep. it is basically a uh, kind of like an eat Jin, except it's with alcohol because he's creating his own alcohol. It's drink gin. It's drink gin this time. <laughs> so he's creating his own uh, alcohol line uh, with obviously the help of our favorite uh, chef, Chef Beck. Mm -hmm. um, so also, it's, real quick. Yeah. The fuck the floaty <laughs> and the bathtub. I don't know what was going on there. Also, his like matching set, his arms. I I, I lost my mind. I was like, I there's too many things to look at. I can't the do floaty this. though. By the bathtub. I, I, I literally. That's tell like Jen Cook in his thirty mattresses. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. That sounds about right. We've seen a lot of their bathrooms recently, and I don't oh. know how to feel about that. I mean, Hobie did take us to the high bathroom once. I'm just Hobie life. I. I know he's <laughs> he's a wild man let me tell you um so it's called the drunken truth with Jin and chef Beck there'll be four episodes there's already two out right now um obviously as we're talking about it they're like really interesting episodes and it's very Jin like uh of it's a very like eat Jin kind of a scenario and um I love chef Beck I think he's like the most hilarious person oh yeah and he's he, so funny they like him and BTS and like especially Jin they just mesh really well yeah yeah especially because like they've met each other so many times <laughs> like they had one run episode or like was it one or two episodes? They, they had like one or two and then they was, kept bringing two. back for, for run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love that he has this relationship with him to like talk about mm -hmm. food because as we know, like as BTS ARMY, we know how much Jin loves food and loves feeding other people. Oh, and yeah. And so to like create his own alcohol is like a very Jin thing. He is also like a big drinker. He's a lush he, it, he yeah. enjoys drinking. He's enjoy, yeah, he enjoys the social aspect of drinking. And I love that this is the evolution that we're getting. I honestly wish that there was more episodes um, instead of just four. And yeah. I wish they would have spaced them out a little bit more because like the two episodes were amazing, obviously. Um, and it's cool to see him like going to like the markets and like having people like try his alcohol and like getting, um, you know, like the different feelings yeah. for it and like trying it out I do love it I love it so much um but I wish that there was more content obviously yeah. um and I mean we'll we'll always be like gluttons for content oh my god yeah so. and it's the same thing when like okay so he's promoting um gin ramen let me just tell you it's so funny um the commercial is honestly hilarious I forgot what he was selling for like a hot second and then I remembered that it was ramen and I was like oh yeah gin I mean ramen. it also just works out like when we like watch them like pack for Bon Voyage yeah. they all like they like they literally bring a Full well, suitcase of ramen. Yeah, it's true. And gin ramen is definitely up there with the ramen that they yeah. like love. I really need to go and see if I can find it here to try it out. Um, because both I I I found I found I found a website oh, that sells it. Yeah, I don't know if they ship to Canada. I'll probably send it to not. You so, you can, so you can check. But it, it's it like it sources it from the U.S. So. Ah. If they do ship to like Canada, the shipping won't be as bad. That's it's... true. That's yeah. true. So you you could check. I think they do ship to Canada actually, because I accidentally put my parents' address in, and it seemed to be kind of working. Fine. So okay. I'll send it to you. Okay, send it. To There's you. they they have like a bunch of like Asian like groceries help things, and like they have like per country. Oh. So, oh. Yeah. They have the they place. have the BTS the Xolito like two yes too. I have found that at my local TNT luckily um because we have this Asian supermarket in Canada that's an off branch of our main grocery store which is Superstore mm -hmm. and that one has the off branch of 
that is TNT, which is like an Asian supermarket. It's mostly um, like Chinese uh, style, yeah. like food for the most part anyway. Um, but there is like Korean and Japanese and uh, Indonesian and Thai. But yeah, that, that and website Italy. has like not bad prices too, so... Hmm. After, I think, after, I, I think uh, I'll do. I'll send it now before I forget. Actually, okay, I'll have to source it out. Um, and then the last piece of uh gin stuff before we move on to the other gin, 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 gin is we got a preview of the merch that he's releasing with his single. Um, I almost lost my mind. Let me tell you that. Um. I am really going to have to level myself when it comes to this. They haven't released <laughs> when it's coming out or when we can pre-order it or when we can buy it, uh, which is kind of frustrating because I just want it, like, now. Right now. Um, yeah. There's this, there's stuffies. There's, like, a whole, like, Of course Mad there's Bombs. stuffies. This is, like, gin we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. He has a second son, if you don't know. RJ has been betrayed. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, so. I'm just going to say how it's. Oh, jeez. I spilled water. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he has like a second son, and everybody was like losing their minds over those. Um, the alien welcome home cheaters. <laughs> um, but uh, so. Yeah, there's a bunch of merch that's going to be released, and uh, I'm looking very forward to it. But I want to know prices, first of all. Yeah. And second, because I need to plan out what I'm getting. Because I can't, like, my default will be I want all of it. And that yep. can't happen. I really want the body pillow, though. I just want to, like, hold. <laughs> I just want to hold Wolto in my hands. Like, I yeah. just, I want to cuddle him so bad. I just want to cuddle Wuto. I know that's that's what I'm saying like I just want him I I kind of want just like the little one too but like the big body pillow I just I I'd I like know. to have the small one but I can't afford it just yet I'm so close to so close. I'm so close I know I know I know so close I'm so close <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, uh, we'll see how uh, cryy my wallet is, and maybe I'll do an unboxing <laughs> on uh, my on Instagram or TikTok or something. Uh, before we go into other like exciting stuff, do you want to talk about the high briefing? Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so let's talk about the high briefing. Um, I didn't. I caught all of the highlights uh, mm -hmm. for it and the stuff that I thought was the most important uh, I'm going to talk about. So obviously they discussed about um, what was going to be happening going forward, especially with BTS, um, because of the fact that they're obviously doing their military service and how that was going to look and how the rest of the members' albums were going to roll out and all this kind of stuff. So um, we'll talk about one of their albums in a second but uh the rest of them right are, after this <laughs> right after this but uh the rest of them so yungi tae jimin and jk will be coming out next year so 2023 um at the beginning of the year is what they said so like that yeah, first like the, quarter that first, yeah um is when they're all going to be coming out so that they can go into their military service and then finish that in 2025 etc 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 um the things that i did find very fascinating um with that was when bang pd was talking about um you know how much bts and army has influenced um the growth of hive and that they're able to do the things that they are able to do because of us and because of bts um and i thought that that was a very i mean it was an acknowledgement that obviously we all know as a yeah. fact like <laughs> uh, you can't deny that we definitely have uh, help them be the yeah. company that they are today. And Bang um, has always like been grateful for that. He's yes. always like tried to like acknowledge it and like thank the group, the members, and armies. Yes, and we have to give that to him. Like for sure. Um, I think that the thing that he said is we could not take a single step without army, and I think that is very accurate to the culture and 
the sort of community that we built as BTS ARMY, which is why I'm not concerned about BTS or ARMY oh, going yeah. forward. Like, this community is here to stay. We're not going anywhere. And we're not going anywhere. Um, and then he talked about, like, a lot of the other groups that were happening. So TXT is having a comeback, um, and Hyphen is likely having a comeback. Uh, New Jeans, like, all of them have a bunch of things that are Yeah, and I mean, Lis- and, like, Lissera Finn, like, just came back. They just came back, so, so they'll have a little bit of time before they do their next comeback. Uh, so it was just, like, I always am fascinated by Hybe doing these, like, community briefings, because it's something that doesn't happen with every single company that you see out there. Oh, yeah. It's like, this is what we're planning, these are the things. And I mean, the even- Hybe is kind of, like, uniquely not known but like they do it every year yeah and a lot of the time multiple times a year to like yeah. certain extent and like a lot of the other companies like just don't no um and we definitely get an insight and I did like what he said about like we want to listen to the community because we're the like our wallets are the ones that are paying for all this stuff right yeah. um <laughs> and I'm I'm really glad that he and the rest of the team is sort of like looking at it like you know, we're, uh, you know, as much as you want to say, like, a company runs itself, it actually doesn't. And in this regard, especially with, like, uh, K-pop groups and K-pop companies and music companies, it's not run, it's run by fans. They're the ones who are powering these companies to be as big as they are and powering the artists to gain more and more and more and more. So it's good to see that they're taking what we say into consideration when they're making and creating things because it just makes their stuff so much better and Mm -hmm. even like you know I see like it makes us like a like a lot more excited for stuff coming out oh for sure because we're like oh yeah we talked about this and they actually listen well and I see that evolution like even in like basic things like merch or album packaging and like all this kind of stuff it's definitely like improved and upgraded over time like their first album in comparison to like proof for example like that's Mm -hmm. a huge departure from what they were doing to what they're doing now and having like multiple versions and like coming out with different concepts like all of this stuff is really interesting and cool and it's all fueled by us the community because we're the ones who are giving the feedback so continue to give them feedback I think it's important to even if it's criticism because no company is ever perfect and I don't um think Hive is uh like you know not uh due for criticism because they absolutely are yeah there are some things that I disagree with NFTs being like a big priority in that Mm -hmm. um however I think that it's interesting that they take the approach of like understanding that the fans are the ones that are powering these things to go forward so without us they literally have nothing so continue to criticize continue to make your opinions known continue to like always be pushing forward because as a company like I would want that as well because it's about evolving and making sure that we're on top of everything that's happening in the community definitely you like as a side note like criticism doesn't mean you need to be nasty no just like state the fact yeah and that's how you're more like more likely to have it heard and acted upon yeah and as we know from like hive they definitely because because i know like some people are like criticisms like time to like be nasty like yeah bash yeah no criticism is about you can you can be annoyed Oh, you can yeah. be mad, like yeah. stuff happens, but like DHL least... being like the big one, Mike, <laughs> Mike. Um, um, but like, if that's the case, like wait a little bit, like, like go through your emotions and then send the criticism. Yeah, because we know, like, honestly, I know that Hive watches uh specific communities and especially BTS Army um in terms of like how we move our community how we talk about things what things we like what things we don't like like they know these Mm. things they are very well aware and very plugged in to our communities especially like you know we talk about a video wanting to be released and then it's released I mean even like the members themselves like yeah let us know multiple times just like the one video where they reacted to like uh, army covers 
Yeah. It's like they watch stuff on the internet. They are around. Yeah. And so Nam June's friend. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Reveal your secret account, Nam June. JK, I know you have one. JK recognizing Cameron Phillips. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> like anyway uh if you have the time i know it's like an hour and a half long of them like talking about business kind of stuff yeah but it's definitely something to look at and like really pay attention to it is very saying. interesting yeah for sure it's it's a really interesting insight into a company that you normally don't see especially the music industry oh is yeah. one of those like very cloak and dagger sort of industries where they only show you a certain amount and i'm sure to a certain extent they're also like hiding high i don't want to say hiding things but like revealing things in like a way that is more suitable to how the community would react to things mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so they're probably not telling you everything, but it is still a good way to see an in-depth view of a company. So definitely take a look. So um, we're talking about albums. <laughs> yes. So we got confirmation that RM's first solo album, because it's not, I'm saying first because it's not a mixtape and yes. it's not his first solo work. Yes. But his first solo <clears throat> album is coming out in december yes december 2nd is the day of release for <laughs> kim namjoon's album called indigo indigo so he has been working on this album he said since 2019 <laughs> which is a long time that's three years this is gonna be a very interesting album to witness take a look at like i'm very excited. the evolution of Junie's solo work yeah it's so fascinating it's to me. it's outstanding like it's we already know that he is incredibly genius when it comes to lyrics and producing and all this kind of stuff and i cannot wait to see how he implements that in his own solo album and i'm so excited to see like what this album's gonna look like what he's gonna do with it like and I mean, i'm just so his, excited just his meaning for the for indigo is yeah. so sweet yes like i know Kim Nam June is blue bts is purple, purple. and when you mix it two, makes indigo, indigo. <sighs> uh, ah. i know i'm crying i'm literally and i know been saying for a while that indigo yeah. is his favorite color too it it is his favorite color he said that yeah. like multiple times um i think uh he also said like because it's you know 2019 i feel like this is going to be a recap of his 20s and the things that he's like gone through so it's probably going to be very personal i'm gonna cry probably a I lot mean, we know he he was struggling a lot especially during covid so yes i there's going to be so bad in there yeah uh, for sure for sure um i think you know at the end of 2019 we we ha had seen at their award show that they were thinking about disbanding and all that kind of stuff. So I think that kind of stuff. We knew something there. was happening because like, like the end of year shows were, were like a recap of like their, their songs. So yeah. It's like either they're disbanding, either they're going into the military, like something was happening. Yeah. And we know that it would have been. Yeah, it would have been because <laughs> Mott's would have been the last album before yeah. that. Um. So... I think it's going to be very interesting to see like what his perspective is going to be, especially comparatively to like mono, for example. Oh, yeah. um, I want to like really see what that evolution sort of looks like. Um, and as we like know from Pharrell, when they did that interview together on Rolling Stone, that there's going to be probably some features of his favorite like friends and people. And I think Pharrell is probably going to be on the album mm -hmm. or Namja is going to be on Pharrell's album or like both. I'm really excited. There was also like a thread going around about um, Pharrell usually hosts a uh, music festival um, and brings a lot of his friends on that music festival. So maybe Judy as promotion. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. Mon literally sent me, actually Mon sent Kat and myself a thing being like, so next year, uh, Nam June, Pharrell's concert, we going? <laughs> and I was just like, I mean, yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's in Virginia Beach. I I'm just say. gonna say like as a side note whenever like D3 comes out if Junie is not featured on one of these songs I'm gonna be real upset because I believe he was like I think it was only like um yeah not, like he's always with Yoongi like they they work so well together and I'm like I feel like he will be <sighs> I hope so I hope so um so the festival's called uh something in the water so okay. that's that's what pharrell's uh concert is like so maybe virginia beach next year maybe i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm just saying just anyway saying. i'm so looking forward to this album i feel like with all the songs and albums we've gotten so far from our members like jen and hobie they have been so different, yet so themselves. And I'm yeah. so incredibly happy that they get to explore this um, without the pressure of, you know, the group activities sort of overshadowing their individual personalities and albums. I mean, we, like they said, this chapter two is for them to like really work and discover themselves yeah. as individuals and as individual artists. And yeah. so they are every, definitely doing that. Like every album that comes out makes me more and more and more and more excited for chapter three because oh, yeah. I know when they get back, it's <laughs> gonna be wild. Like it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be it's gonna be rough. Oh, it's gonna be unleashed, is what it's gonna be. I'm calling chapter three already unleashed. That's what it's gonna be called. Unhinged. Unhinged, let's unleashed, let's go. Uh, all right. So next thing on the list is we got some OT7 stuff specifically to do with the portfolio, the photo shoot. Uh, so we got a photo shoot. We also got a reaction film to uh, stuff. So this is part okay. one. Okay. Yungi saying Aju, Aju, Aju just made me like Aju. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. It's true. Um, the OT7 behind the scene photo shoot is like so incredibly cute. Uh, my favorite moment of that entire video is Junie throwing the ball and it hits Yoongi in the face. It's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I'm like, Junie, why? Why are, why are you like this? Why did somebody give you that? Like, of all of the members, you're really going to give him a ball to throw at something? Are we sure about that? This recipe for a disaster. I don't think, like, I, boy, if you don't, like, he does not need that. Um, <laughs> the reaction is the most funniest thing I've ever seen. Their reaction to Hobie's photo shoot makes me nervous. Um, very nervous for his portfolio. Um, the Jimin reaction was hilarious. Uh, also same. Like, I don't also know. Same. Like, <laughs> them like losing their minds over park jimin is like yeah i i agree it's par for the course really yeah again like hobie makes me very nervous like why do you react like that why is that your reaction okay to but photo they, they always reacting very strongly to hobie though i'm terrified i'm literally terrified can we now remember yoongi just yelling j-hope oh yeah the, true that in tears that era? is that is my favorite Yugi gif of all time is him just going J -ha! J -ha! <laughs> I love it I love it I can't wait for the other like four videos to come out of them reacting to the rest of them um because we got like a short teaser about what they're going to be reacting to but we haven't got oh. all the portfolios so oh. I don't I can't like I genuinely can't help you um because Jin's is next so catch me outside crying in a river i'll see you later mine is last i know <laughs> you have so long to wait but it's exciting i'm looking forward to it okay um so remember when uh jk went to guitar yes uh now we know why now we know why <laughs> now so no 
Why? So JK is going to be performing at the FIFA World Cup and uh, he's making a song for the soundtrack. Yes. Uh, yeah. I believe they confirmed that he's going to be performing at like the opening ceremony. Yes. So yeah, that's that, pretty exciting. That's pretty cool and exciting. <laughs> um, I know like- He's going to crush it like a thousand oh, percent. 100%. And we already know like the FIFA opening ceremonies is something else. Like it's- top tier can you, level can you imagine like the year canada goes back to the world cup is the year that john cook slash bts is performing on the soundtrack listen canada <laughs> canada we made it happen <laughs> we Jump made it back Olympics. let's go let's go um i'm really looking forward to it i know like honestly <laughs> let's be honest here the this the opening ceremony like soundtrack like title tracks for the fifa world cups is top tier material like oh, yeah. Shakira with the African Waka Waka song oh my god okay iconic speaking of Sh- Shakira iconic one of my group chats was like so we're we gonna get a hip battle between Shakira and JK yes I, I was it. like hips don't lie hips don't lie hips don't <laughs> lie and his waist is tiny as hell so it <laughs> yeah, yes, it is. I'm just saying I'm just saying. Yes, uh, it is. So it's going to be interesting, actually, to see, like, what this song is going to sound like. Because every single FIFA, like, World Cup song that's, like, obviously been the title track sounds completely different from each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and usually has to deal with, like, the country that's actually hosting the FIFA World Cup. So it'll be interesting to see what he does with that. Because, like... I'm There's excited. so many ways he can go. Yeah. And I'm excited. It's going to be a bop. It's sure. going to be a bop. It's going to be one of those songs that's who, never going to okay, be. Okay. Like, who doesn't remember Waka Waka? Uh, if you don't, then you weren't born yet. Like, that's literally. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody and their mother knows that. Because we were teenagers when that happened. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm like, genuinely, that song never leaves my mind. Like, no, it's I'll, so good. It's so freaking good it's so catchy and i mean shakira is like an amazing artist she's iconic i love her so much like listen whatever is like that is my childhood song same like (laughs) i remember like listening to that in high school and i mean the gifts don't lie too gifts don't lie like come on like there's so she's iconic i love her (laughs) so much uh so the fact that like jk gets to be on like the same yeah in like some of my spanish classes we would listen to shakira songs oh i love it i love the diversity and don't get me wrong i hate fifa as an organization they are terrible um watch the like john oliver breakdown of fifa he did like two parts of it because they are the worst organization on the planet and guitar should not have been in the oh mid. yeah like there's been so many wrong things going on with that they had to like build a stadium many people have passed away from just like being there it's hot like hotter than uh you should be playing soccer in kind of deal i don't understand why they keep going to countries where it's this hot i don't especially know especially when it when it's like summer yeah it makes no sense um so don't get me wrong like i hate fifa and i don't think that they should be like owning soccer or like anything like that sorry football um soccer it's soccer sorry <laughs> we're canadians um, over here it's soccer it's soccer i'm so sorry uh but i am excited for jk and i will support him and the song oh I, yeah i just really disagree with fifa supporting and an artist versus supporting the organization, organization yeah. is two different things it's two different things so anyway i'm excited we're getting new music like how uh, how can oh yeah that? okay how before we get into the juicy part, uh, Tay. <laughs> Tay this morning. Boy, if you don't. Like, <laughs> five minutes of him just, like, hanging out. It's not the first time, and no. it's not going to be the last. I think he also said that he's going to come tomorrow morning, well, tomorrow morning my time, and, like, do another live that will last about an hour. That's at least what he told, like, an army who was, like... Yeah please come back um Jin <laughs> talking in his uh in his life because they can now comment on like the v live stuff is so funny yeah um he's just like so sweet I love Tay like 
he is like he he is the baby bear of the group we've really said is. this multiple times yeah he really is um, he's the and, he's the true magni of this group yeah yeah i love him so much um so i hopefully he'll come tomorrow um hopefully, and maybe. spend some time with us uh, i miss him uh yeah it was really yeah. sweet okay last bit of news this morning speaking of uh we finally got the run bts dance practice and jesus christ first of all was rent due like i'm genuinely yes, asking was. Yes, because was. like holy i listen i i've watched that performance of run bts like a dozen or so times over the past like however long it's been released i've been watching it like every day but to see it in the dance practice realm is literally crazy. They are insane. What the hell? You know what killed, like, what finished me? Yeah. The fucking bun. I know. On Min Yoongi. I know. And it's not even a full bun. It's like a half I know. bun. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Okay, he owned this, air, this hairstyle more than than me because I do this hairstyle like a lot I know he's so attractive with the long hair the mm. bun I can't do it honestly all of them are looking so good Park Jimin I'm gonna need you to get out of my dms because I really can't JK, with you JK's, JK's hair JK oh my god Tay literally keep your tongue in your mouth boy like I can't do it anymore I can't <laughs> like stop it um Jin wrecks me every day Nam i'm just june, gonna say to june uh at one point in the choreo has to give like two like claps on the dancer's hand he missed both of them shocker i'm kind of sad funny. for him I'm, i know uh honest. j-hope always kills it with this choreography dance captain top tier let's be honest here when jin's in the center too it's such a good moment I lost my mind. I didn't notice. Okay, so I like didn't notice this, but there's so many things that I don't notice like in the performance because I'm just like so focused yeah. on the overall performance. But when they like, you know, like in the dance practice, you can actually see with like without the lighting and without the like stage and all this kind of stuff. I was losing my mind. I was like, Kim Sok Jin, excuse the hell out of me. I was like, what are you doing here? I'm dead. Like, this is my corpse. Hi, how's it going? I need someone to plan a funeral. That's what's happening. I was not okay. I honestly, that song is iconic, and I will take no more further questions about that. Um, the fact that they performed that live, we got to see a performance of that. We have a dax dance practice video. Like, I'm done. Excuse me. Y'all are not allowed to be this good at music and choreography and like entertainment and synchronization. Like, no. What the hell? The thing is, like, I woke up pretty late today. Like, I woke up around noon and I went on the TikTok before like washing my hair. And all it was were yeah. clips. Of clips. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I guess I gotta watch okay. this. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I literally opened my TikTok and it was like, just run BTS, run BTS, run BTS. Run I'm not BTS. mad. I'm not mad surprised. about it. Like I'm, I'm shocked, but I'm just like not um, surprised about it. Like I, I, uh, I was just surprised, no you know. Are no words. How dare you do this to me on a Sunday? It's the Lord's Day. Like give it me is a the minute. Lord's Day. I want. I need. Like I need a breath, man. Like <laughs> let God. me eat. My, not in front of my salad. Like right in front of it. It's just in front of my salad. Why you do this? Why you do this? But before we have a complete meltdown, let's yeah. go to uh, Artist Shadow. <laughs> let's go to Artist Shadow because I'm about to like lose my mind. So uh, my artist this week is Kip. Oh, yes. What a queen. Yep. Like, God. I love her stuff so much. Yeah, the indigo one kind of just like, oh, gosh. like slapped me in the face. Yep. I saw this and I had to just like sit there. <laughs> And just like experience it. It was you just know? gonna 
wait a moment. And then like the you the soap run dance practice one. Oh, it's so good. <sighs> like, ooh. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? But yeah, it, it just made sense, you know. What about you? Uh, my artist this week is uh, Nadine. Nadine? Nadine? Anyway, she's a, f- a fellow Canadian, a fellow Maple Woo! Army. So, hi, how's it going? Hello. Um, so, she does a lot of like handmade beaded bracelets, necklaces, phone, light stick charms Woo, inspired by cute. BTS. Also, 17. Um, so, both of them are her like. I feel beat. nice, you know? Yes. Um, and I, <laughs> yes. And I absolutely love the phone charms. Honestly, like, I really like them. I kind of want to, like, have one on mine. Mm-hmm. I just like it so much. They're really cute. They're, it's so cute. I love, um, like, handmade um, jewelry and accessories and that kind of stuff. Like, it just, it makes me feel, like, so warm. And we talked about this, like, um, when we had only seven on about, like, you know, army creators and army, like, artists, they really understand BTS, like, so, honestly, like, so well that when they do it, like, when they implement that stuff into merch, it just, it, you can feel it, like, you can. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of the time it's just, like, it's a big source of inspiration in the first place, so. Yeah. It kind of fuels fuels the flame you yes know? and it has like so much more potent meaning honestly because we are so invested and so um I don't know just like so I don't know what the word I'm looking for but like I think it I, I know I know what you mean <laughs> yeah like the inspiration is so potent that it makes the artwork just like stand out so much more and yeah honestly sometimes I think it's better than the like official merch a lot yeah, of the time yeah we've said this multiple times so many times I mean I'm over here so wearing good. my Ashley's persona like <laughs> loser lover sweatshirt yeah I love Ashley's persona yes we we love you Ashley most of my shirts are yours. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Honestly, though, same. <laughs> on, on to our songs of the week. Yes, yeah, songs of, of the week. Let's go. Uh, so my BTS song this week is I'm Fine. Uh, the queen. I love her. It's just... A lot of the time, I don't have, like, specific reason. It just, like, feels right. Yeah. And that's one of them. Yeah. Agreed. I know. I understand. And, uh, my yeah and my known bts song is fever by the hype because uh, these Listen. who are performing this live on their tour was a problem especially jake and he sung i have so many thoughts i have so many opinions. also what the fuck did you see the clips from sunu's last live excuse me he's supposed to be the baby he's supposed to be I, the cutie one what the fuck happened I, I, the eyeliner the blue I, I contacts know. i don't excuse know excuse me i don't know he I is don't a know. fast he is a fast queen of the night pen, though true very true <laughs> um i don't know what's happening uh fever is like one of those songs that i was so shocked when i listened to it the first time that i didn't believe in hyphen was the one performing it i was like excuse me like this song is hot it's hot <laughs> it I, I don't know how that's why to describe that's it. why it's called fever jess because it's hot because it's hot i know <laughs> This song makes me feel things that I, I'm mostly confused about. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to describe that other than I'm confused. I am confused. I'm um, a 25 year old, very confused by the song yeah. because it makes me feel things that I don't think I should be feeling. No, <laughs> no, no. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. coming to my <laughs> TED talk. I was going to say the same thing. Um, Okay, my, my BTS song. Uh, the first one uh, is, my BTS song this week is Home, uh, for obvious reasons. I love this song. It's uh, called Just Stay Inside. That's what it means. Yeah, it's called 
um i don't know i've been listening to it a lot it's like the first song on my gin uh astronaut and uh super tuna playlist and uh it just it makes me feel like all the good things and it make it brings me back to when um i saw it live at uh la and mm -hmm. just the reminder of like <laughs> lenny and i just lo like losing your shit <laughs> the first two notes came on and we both looked at each other and we screamed i have never yelled so loud have you done like in any life. of these like challenges where they give you like the cup the first couple oh, seconds of yeah. a song and you're like yep that's yep, the song that's the that's song. song easy Next. or like even just like gets the bts mouth and i'm like yeah yeah, yeah. i get them all right this one <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't know what you mean. The TikTok ones are funny because I'm like, are these supposed to be hard? Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, oh, this is like a really hard one. I was like, I got them all right. It's really not that. <laughs> like, I'm genuinely asking if you guys want us to maybe like do one of these challenges, we could on the podcast, just yeah. like, let us know down below if you want us to do that and we'll, we'll give her a go. That would be pretty funny. Um, am I not BTS song? So I saw, uh, one of my best friends who's like a Taylor's she's, she's a pure Swifty. She's like, she's a Swifty. She's a Swifty. Um, and I love her so much for that because we were like, we were talking about concerts cause she wants to obviously go see Taylor Swift yeah. in, uh, live. And she was talking about ticketing and I was like, girl, don't even get me started. So we were talking about midnights and, uh, I had obviously listened to it because she's a Swifty and we talk about Taylor Swift a lot. So I wanted to like, listen to the whole album yep and honestly it is one of my top like three albums for me I think like for me it's like 1989 uh reputation and then midnights that's like my Taylor Swift knowledge or like top yeah three albums Taylor for Swift me. is like does like some really good shit yeah gotta give um, that to her it's good um and this album is no exception to that um uh, mm -hmm. my favorite song off the album it should be no surprise honestly to anybody it's lavender haze <laughs> what a surprise what a shocker i am um, not surprised no it's also like very boppy very like ooh. Yeah, there's, there's something also about like some it. some really sad songs on this yes album too yes um lots maroon is like heartbreaking jesus yeah. i was like oh no <laughs> oh no oh, no <laughs> um but yeah lavender haze is gonna be my non-bts song this week because i i just genuinely really enjoy that song there's really something about it that's like it's not like poppy but it is at the same it took, time like, everything like... in me to not put another love seraphim song this week. Uh, <laughs> uh, you're branching you. out um anyway is me putting an eye pin really branching out no i was trying to give it i was trying to give you like <laughs> let's be real here let's be real good point good point anyway, anyway. Let's, let's wrap this up uh, yes so as usual we have a new podcast episode coming out every thursday and a new clip coming out every sunday at 3 p.m est you know it you can also listen to us on the go basically on any app where you would listen to your podcasts on the go you can also find us on our social medias at on me think tank or at on me think tank podcast and don't forget to like comment subscribe and ring the bell to be notified whenever we post a new video on that note have, have a good, good week, week. And we'll see you next Thursday.